Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I've shown you how to use this password care property with your text box. So when I run the program and when I type some password, it will hide the password from other viewers and it will show some special character which you set in the password field. Now in this video, I will show you how to open a second form on successful login. So for example, when I run the program and I enter some username and password and I click login button and it says username and password is correct. At this point, I want to open a second form when the username and password is correct and I want to allow my user to see some special data. And if the username and password is not correct, nothing will happen. It will just say username and password is not correct and it will stay on this login page and it will not go on the second page with the user access. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, let's create a second form. So I will go to my solution explorer here and I will click my project and I will right click my project and I will go to this add and I will say add new item and in this add new item wizard which will open I will go to windows form here and I will select windows form from here and I will leave this uh, form as default which is form 2 and I will say add this will create a second form which is form 2.vb here now this is a page I want to open or this is the form I want to open from the first login form here for example I will add a label for showing the second page and I will edit it sec text as second form okay and maybe I can change the font size so that we can see that it's a second form bold 16 so now you can see let's make it bigger okay now I want to open the second form from the first form when the login and use login password and user ID is correct so in the last video when I when I have shown you how to create a login page in this I have shown you this code for the login and what you need to do is you need to go to the line where we are showing the message username and password is correct so whenever our condition is true for the username and password is correct just we were showing this message that username and password is correct just go below that line and in here just write form 2 dot show what this line will do is it will open the second form when the username and password is correct when the condition is true for the correct username and password and what we want uh, now is we want to hide this login form right so what we can do is we can write me dot hide and what this code will do is it will hide the current form which is you are in which in which you are in which is login form so let's try to run the program and see how it works I provide the correct username and password and I say or for example I provide first of all wrong password and wrong username and I click login button and it says username and password is not correct 
and v stays on the same login form right and for in the second time for example we enter the right username and password and when we click this login button it says username and password is correct and when i click open it will hide the first form and it will open the second form right the same in the same way for example you want to go from your second form to your first form what you can do is just open your second form and add a button and you can say this is my sign out button right and when I double click this in here you can write form one dot show and me dot hide okay and now when you run the program whenever you enter your username and password correct it shows the correct username and password it opens the second form and when you click the sign out button you come to the first form and the second form disappears right so in this way you can make a mechanism of sign out and opening the second form on the validation of username and password so this is the video and i think that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now